What, what, what are you doing? Wait, wait! You're not a pastor, you're a liar. And I have to protect my community from black thieves like you. Please do not swim. I swear to you. You're not a pastor, you're a liar! I am a pastor! Oh no, you're not! Ah! You're not! <laughs> Hello? Hey, Pastor Thomas. It's Dale Sampson. Good morning, Dale. How's your vacation going? It's been great so far. It's nice to get away, you know? Hey, listen, uh, my wife and I are expecting a package to be delivered to our house today. Would you have time to grab it for us? I don't want to leave it sitting on our porch while we're out of town. Sure, I can head over there this afternoon and pick it up. Oh, I knew we could count on you. Absolutely, no problem. Thank you so much, Pastor. You're welcome. And I hope you have a wonderful time on the remainder of your trip. Oh no, you don't. 911, what's your emergency? I'd like to report a suspicious man in my neighborhood. Hey! Excuse me! Excuse me! Good morning, beautiful day out, isn't it? What are you doing with that package? I'm just taking it to my car. Why? You don't live here. Do you know the people who live here? No, but I know it's not you. And how do you know that? Because this is a nice neighborhood. And? And we don't allow thugs like you to live here. You probably couldn't afford a house in this neighborhood anyway. Ma'am, I think it's time for you to go home now. Not until you tell me what you're doing with this package. I'm picking it up for the people who live here. They're out of town and they asked me to get their package for them. How do I know you're telling me the truth? How do I know you're not stealing it? You know what? You're right. So how about if I just call them right now and they can tell you themselves? Oh, please, you're just gonna call one of your thug friends and have them pretend. Is this some kind of a drug deal? Because you people are always doing drug deals. Ma'am, I'm done with this conversation. I'm going to leave now, okay? And you have a nice day. No, 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 there's no way I'm gonna let you take this package. No, 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 no. What are you doing? I'm recording you so that everyone can see you're stealing from a nice white family. Ma'am, don't do that. Get your phone out of my face. Why? Are you afraid of getting caught? No, I just don't want you shoving your phone in my face. I'm at 6405 Betty Cook Drive, and there's a man who's trying to steal a package. I repeat, this man is stealing. Ma'am, get away from me and stop doing that. No, no, I won't. Ma'am, please leave me alone. No, no. Ugh, ugh, oh, what you... Put the package back. Uh, what in the world? I'm not going to let you steal this. Away Give me from this me. Get package back. Get away from oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my, did you see that? This black man, he just assaulted me. Ma'am, I barely touched you. Oh, you're in trouble now. I just called the police and they're gonna arrest you. Well, this ought to be interesting. No. Howdy. Afternoon. You got a call about some suspicious activity in the area. Yeah, thank goodness you're here, officer. Could you please help me up? Thank you. Thank okay. you. Thank you. You all right? This, no, this man, he attacked me and then he just shoved me to the ground. Officer, I did not attack her. I did not shove her. Yes, he did. I was trying to stop him from stealing this package from the porch and he just assaulted me. Is that true, sir? Officer, let me explain. I'm picking up this package for people who live here. Just, just arrest him now. Okay, do you have any proof of that? Yes, let me put the package down. Sir, because if you don't, I'm going to have to bring you downtown for some questioning. Officer, I have proof right here. It's on my phone. I've just received a text message from Mr. and Mrs. Sampson. They're the couple who live here. Well, that could be anybody's phone, officer. I caught him red-handed. He's a criminal. Seems to check out. Thank you, sir. Ma'am, I'm not a criminal. I'm a pastor. <laughs> Yeah, right, like we're gonna believe that. You don't look like a pastor. You're too black to be a pastor. Now hold on there, ma'am. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to calm down and allow me to do my job, please, sir. I promise you I'm telling the truth. I'm the pastor of the First Presbyterian Church. Okay, do you have any identification on your person? Yes, sir.
Brian Thomas. Oh, Brian Thomas. You run the food drive for the homeless community. Yes, sir, that is me. He's not even dressed like a pastor. Look at him. He's really lying to you, officer. Ma'am, I, I had asked you to calm down. Please, let me handle this. Well, I can't believe you're buying his story. It's not a story. I've heard of him in the community. He does some great things. We appreciate you. <laughs> you think he's done a lot for this community, like lying and stealing from nice, innocent white families? Hold on now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now. You're getting a little bit too aggressive. You're not gonna arrest him? No, I will not. Thank you, officer. This is ridiculous! Arrest this thug right now! This man has done nothing wrong. Now please, be on your way. Fine. But you're making a big mistake, officer. This isn't the end. Whew. Wow. Um, Pastor, I'm just gonna call this into dispatch. Just give me a moment. Thank you. You know what, if he's not gonna protect this community from black monsters like that, I'll just do it myself. What, what, what are you doing? Wait, wait! You're not a pastor, you're a liar. And I have to protect my community from black thieves like you. Please do not for me, I swear to you. You're not a pastor, you're a liar! I am a pastor! Oh no, you're not! Ah! You're not! Hey! Hey! Hey, what are you doing? What? 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 I'm not the criminal here, hey, officer! You're under arrest, ma'am. What? Ah! You are heading down to the station. You're on arrest for assault? Stop resisting, ma'am! Get ma off of me! You can't arrest me! Oh, yes, I can. I want a lawyer! I'm gonna sue the entire police department, and you're gonna be sorry, officer. I'm gonna get you fired, and then I'm gonna burn your whole church down! Yeah! Yeah! Huh? What? Ow! Oh! Pastor Thomas, you okay? Oh, thank you. I can't believe she did that. Well, I can. Trust me, Pastor, I've, I've seen some crazy stuff out there, and that behavior is unacceptable. I assure you, she will be dealt with. What's going to happen to her now, officer? Obviously, it was a hate crime, so if you'd like to press charges, that is an option. If so, she'll be going to jail for, for a long time. I don't want to press charges. I get people like this in my church all the time. They're just mad at just everyone. What about this? We might be able to get her some help some classes, allow her to take some therapy. It's a possibility, uh, probably needed. Let me do this for you, Pastor. Hand you my uh, information, here you go. If anything comes up, you give me a call. Officer Jacobs. One last thing, Pastor. Just wanted to let you know that the police force does not condone racism in any shape or form. We respect you in this community. We appreciate you. Just wanted to let you know that. Let us know if there's anything that we can do to help out your church. Thank you, officer. Have a good day. I appreciate it. Judging people by the color of their skin is not okay. Everyone deserves kindness and respect. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you hit like and subscribe to the channel so that we can make more videos like this. And remember, here at Generation Hope, we're just trying to make the world a better place one video at a time.